So I'm getting ready to install uh, some bunk beds in here. And uh, I guess my first process would be to uh, to see how I'm going to fasten these bunk beds on here. I, I'm really not interested in uh, bolting these things up to, you know, the studs here. And um, I think what I'd like to do is... Uh, what I'm going to do is weld a bracket going across here and uh, I think this is going to be the better option. So I measured it out. This is what I have. It's, uh, it's about a quarter inch and uh, it's going to go right on here like this. Right where the X marks the spot there. I'm going to weld them in here and this is going to be exposed. Um, and once I get these, uh, bunk beds, uh, put in the posts, I'll have a, a place where I can bolt this thing up to the legs. I, I don't care too much for, for this, you know, it just, I don't know. It's not, it's not strong enough. And you know, these things, uh, these cargo trailers are, uh, they're like a mobile earthquake and uh, they just kind of roll everything all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and put some brackets here, weld some brackets in this general area and a couple up here, up on top here. Somehow I'm going to do something here and uh, to get this thing fastened on here. So that's what I'm working right now. Well, let's get to it. So I got the... Uh, the brackets all welded up these brackets I I put them in these are the uh, are gonna be the the uh, base for uh, uh, screwing in and bolting up the, uh, the bunk beds so you can see I have them welded up here uh, the these are the studs up here and I welded them up in here these are exposed here there's uh, probably about a sixteenth over here so I, I added a little bit of padding here uh, this is that the the truck bed camper uh, padding just so that when I go ahead and bolt these things up I'm gonna put two screws in here and kind of bolt these things up here and uh, for the bunk beds I also have them down at the bottom here right in here so you could see the top and the bottom uh, somewhere in this general area, but the legs of the bunk beds are going to be pretty much bolted up to those uh, Brackets and um, I think it's a better option. It just gives me a little bit more strength uh, Using both rather than putting a hole in that little skinny tin this way this kind of holds together plus it's going to be screwed on the board um, the uh, particle board here adds rigidity to the uh, to the wall because it's distributed uh, throughout the uh, uh, the trailer and um, you know this uh, as I said before the, these trailers they just rack all over the place and um, and yeah they just uh, pretty much uh, you, you got to be re really careful so um, this one here ended up on top of the window which is really good so I'm happy you could see how I installed these windows here I also put brackets in these things welded them up so so you know there's a bracket in here this goes all the way across and I just kind of added some some uh, maple in here uh, it's pretty hardwood and then the stud goes all the way down here and obviously it's welded here and the bottom is that over here now as you noticed I've added some uh, wainscoting here and um, well it's not necessarily wainscoting it kind of looks like it it's bead board and um, it's just a, a single piece that goes all the way across and uh, these uh, these seams here 
are where the post is going to be here for the uh, bunk bed. So you won't seem to really see the seams, and the seam's going to go all the way down to here, or the uh, post will go all the way down to the bottom and kind of go all the way to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, add uh, some color to this thing and, and give it a little bit of a finish uh, appearance. So it's in the process. Uh, we're getting it going. And again, when you uh, install these things, the best thing to do is always identify all your studs so you can see where all my studs are, where the tape is, you know, as you go all the way up. Because once you seal this thing, that's it. You don't see it anymore. And it's like, where's these studs? And... Um, Sometimes where when these trailers are built, uh, you know, you you could say, well, they're 16 on center, 12 inch on center, whatever the case is, and they could be off an inch for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of how that is. The uh, the particle board, yeah, this is good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on there. I was gonna change it up maybe put something a little lighter but you know that's fine I'm, I'm gonna keep it at that so I'm gonna keep going here start uh, adding the uh, the paneling to this thing and kind of start to give it a finished look uh, that way I can go ahead and install these bunk beds uh, on there and um, I'll, I'll be showing a little bit of the uh, bunk bed installation as we go so all right let's get to it Okay, so I got the uh, screws all drilled out, and or the uh, the fastening bolts for the bunk beds screwed it, or uh, actually uh, drilled out and tapped. As you can see, I have the bottom one, and I have the the top one there, and this is the bunk bed leg leg. So those are the, that one, and this is. How I how they look I drilled them out as you can see it's threaded so you got that quarter inch inch and a half bar stock that goes across from from this stud goes across like right here and it's welded across here up to this stud and um, so this should be a lot better and plus the, the uh, particle board that's on top of this board uh, adds rigidity as i said earlier so it's distributed uh fastening throughout the, the wall um the legs will be bolted up here you know with those uh stainless steel nuts always with the uh with the aluminum and i got stainless steel wood screws these will go up on top these are quarter inch so they'll go right on there you can see how i got them so there'll be uh, two areas where where they fasten. They'll fasten to that, and they'll fasten to the wood, as you can see. So I'll take a minute to kind of show you the uh, the frame, the leg. This is the uh, this is the actual frame. Let's go ahead and let me back up a little bit so you can see it and how it's how I built this thing. The legs are here. If you recall on my other video, you could see that's where the stop is. Um, this is bolted on right here. What I did is I added a, a two by quarter inch uh, angle here, aluminum, uh, square. Uh, and this is squared, so this is not the rounded type. So it's it's ninety complete 90 degrees. There's no radius in here. And then... Um, I welded the uh, this square here, as you can see. I left this open for storage purposes. I got some things I want to put inside there and at the bottom, but it's welded across. You can kind of see that, and it goes all the way to the bottom. So that's kind of how that is. And again, I used on both sides. I used the uh, uh, stainless steel with a washer, and I. I don't really need to use a uh, 
a lock washer on these because this this thing is fastened and squeezing in between uh, the two inch by two inch angle is here as well and it's kind of how that is give you a good look at that so you can kind of get an idea and then uh, I just measured it to the height that I wanted so the the width of my bed is pretty much from here to here and then the thickness of my of my mattress is here to here so it's about seven inches roughly six to seven inches that goes across this is where I screw in all my uh, hinges for the for the bed as the bed goes down like this it kind of goes like this it goes down and up and then it goes inside here the mattress I'll show you in a on a second video that I'm going to do for this and the bottom is pretty much the same thing you can see that and it's got the uh the fasteners to the wall, the brackets that I put on there, the angle here. This one, uh, I have a, a cross member that goes across like this, and this one goes down just a little bit lower, like that, just to add some rigidity. This one, well, since, uh, since this one, I cut this one short and I, I put an angle here so I welded this one. This fits on top of here so it's going to sit on top of this and it goes across this and across that. But it's freestanding and it'll go fastened to the wall. Um, if I wanted to put it somewhere else in the uh, trailer I can do that. Or if I just wanted to remove it I can remove it from here. But, but that's part of the... Uh, the uh, the leg assembly for the wall and uh, and the mounting brackets. All right, well, let me keep going here. Uh, and uh, let's see what else we can stir up here. Okay, so I got the, uh, pretty much the bed assembled already. I'm just gonna kind of go over it a little bit so that uh, you folks can kind of see what couple of the uh, details so the locking mechanism I've already showed showed you the locking mechanism how that works uh, these I cut them out of aluminum and all of these are stainless steel so I got these two right here and I have uh, the one on this side didn't really need one on on this side I got the uh, the bumpers back on there, so those are kind of nice. They really help to lock it in place. You can kind of see it back there. So got those in there. Got everything all nice and bolted up. You can. It really uh, did a nice job of fastening it. You can see that down down in there. Passing it to the wall. I haven't put the screws up in here, but I will after. Uh, you can see the angle down here. How that works. I have a, I put a, a little pad right here. Uh, the stuff that you use for camper shells when you put them on top of the a truck bed. So it sits on that. And then I have a bumper right over here as well just in case this thing wiggles or whatever, you never know. And uh, I also added this, it's an adjustable stainless steel adjustable leg. So when the legs go down, you'll be able to uh, adjust these to whatever height you want down at the bottom here as they go down. If the, uh... so as it goes down, you can pretty much go up and down or whatever. So those those adjustable uh, legs are pretty, pretty nice and handy. I put them on both sides. So works, works out really well. Uh, 
Got all the uh, hinges back on there. Got everything all pretty much back in place. Uh, I think they, uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with, with the way it came out. Uh, you can see the color now, my color scheme, obviously, I, I kind of let you guys see what the color scheme's going to be like now, so I, I really enjoy blue, so there you go. And there's the uh, kitchenette so far, and we're still working on it, and we're going to keep going here. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this, uh, this really helps out. I'll be doing some more videos on this. I'm going to add the uh, mattresses in here and pretty much brush or finish off this, this little detail, small minor details. But overall, it's done uh, for now. And uh, we're going to keep going on the trailer. Oh, and I added my spare tire over here too. So, okay. Oh, I got to add some my uh, molding up on top. I probably do some uh, chrome or stain or aluminum polished aluminum up on top there to hide all my wiring and everything. So, all right, very good. Thank you for uh, watching, and uh, please like and uh, subscribe if you like my content, and uh, we'll go from there. What are you doing? Oh, you want to be in part of the video? Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you.